you guys. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. What we're going to do today, guys, is a little bit of installing my new tires that I got. <whistles> Woo! Beautiful. And my Tuffy tire liners. We are going to install these today. It's about time I got my whole new drivetrain on. So I was waiting for that and got it on. So I need to go ahead and get these things put on. Start my springtime out right. Um, I'm not going for a ride today. Why? Because it didn't feel like it. Just didn't feel like it. I'm not pushing myself hard anymore. I'm taking it easy. Why? Because I can. I like taking it easy. I'm going to take it easy. I could put some gloves on, but I'm not going to. I'm going to tough it out. I'm going to tough it out. Rough crowd here. Let's start with this tire right here. Give me a minute. I got it. I got it. All right. I got pizza being delivered and some wings being delivered. So I'm looking forward to that. Always look forward. Man, I hate to let the air out. Boy, these tubes have really been doing well. I can't believe it. Usually I have problems all the time with tubes. Huh, let me see. Uh, let me use this right here. little nail right here. It's my ear cleaning nail. Multi-purpose. Man, that was aired up really good. It's still got plenty of air in it. Good lord. I didn't play around. Impressive, guys. And the tire's not even wanting to break bead. I wasn't kidding around when I heard these up. Got a little bit of moisture coming out of the tube. Is that what she said? Yeah, <laughs> that's what she said. I know it's what she said. <sighs> Man, come on. Still feels like there's plenty of air in there. Man. Wasn't kidding. Welcome to my world. Excuse you. Man. I think I had about 200 pounds of air in this thing. Hey, whatever works, right? Keep in mind, I'm 265 pounds. I'm riding on the road, not off-road. These have been okay tires. I don't think they're as durable as the ones that came on the bike, which are pretty much what I'm putting back on. Uh, the new ones that I got. I don't think that these are quite as durable. Uh, the sidewalls are a lot more flimsy. And the treads seem to wear out a little bit quicker. Now, there wasn't a ton of tread on them to begin with, but... It seemed to wear out a little bit quicker than the original tires. And they are a cheaper tire. Uh, these were $20 a piece. 
And the original ones that uh, come on the bike are $30 a piece. So there is a little bit of difference. But, uh, yeah, they wore out a little bit quicker than I expected. I may have to get a, a tire leverage. Maybe not. And I'm upset. My remote's not working. Change the battery and everything, still not working. That sucks, I use this thing all the time. There it goes. Woo! I think I'm going to wipe her down a little bit before I put it back on. And you'll notice I put a little piece of tape here with an arrow. That's because I have I have the hardest time remembering which way the wheels spin whenever I take them off and put on a tire. So this time I put a little piece of tape on there with an arrow to kind of help me out. I know, I know. I'm probably the only one in the world that has had to do that. But it just drives me crazy. So let's keep it going. I want to make sure not to get the grease on the rotor. Just kind of wipe it off a little bit. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, there's water in there. Huh. That's kind of weird. A little strange. Huh, kind of a pain in the butt. Man, there's literally water all in there. Like gross water. What the heck? Good enough. All right. I'm not sure why there was a whoa. What am I doing?
Oh, I missed a puffy. Remove wheel, remove tire to seven objects. Insert one Mr. Tuffy on the side, overlap the end slightly. In place. All right. Wow, that's weird. It's kind of slimy feeling. These are weird. I'm not sure how they're going to stay in there, but uh, we'll see. I may have to lay the tire down. On its side. Don't know. I've never installed these, so I know it's not cooperating. Supposedly you're supposed to let them overlap, which is, you'd think you just cut it, but I guess not. Did I really get a cat throwing up on my camera just now? Okay. Alright, this ain't working. I'm going to have to lay the tire down and see if that works. Why do cats throw up all the time? Does anybody know? And then, why do dogs go and eat the cat throw up? And the poop? This ain't gonna work. Wow. These things are kind of a pain in the butt. Not gonna lie. No, you ain't coming back out the tire, homie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you will. Wow. Huh. Interesting situation we got here, guys. Um, anyone have any suggestions how to do this? <laughs> That's crazy. You wouldn't think that it would just slip right back out of there, but, Please stay. Don't move. I'm showing all this in real time too, so everybody gets an idea. Wow. What a pain.
Hey, look at a hole in this. Wow, I got a hole right there. So now I gotta redo this whole thing. Well guys, I'm taking a break. I just noticed that my tube that was in my front tire has a hole in it. It was holding air, never had any problems. So that's kind of strange. We're taking a break though. Look at that. Ooh. Pepperoni pizza. Got a pepperoni lovers or whatever. I don't know. It's covered in pepperonis from inside to outside. Looks good to me. I know what's good because I took a bite. And I got a big old thing of chicken wings. So, we can kill two birds with one stone here, guys. Two birds, one stone. We can make a food video while we're sitting here doing this. Why not? Pretty good looking pizza. Still good and hot. Good stuff. So, good thing I got some extra tubes, new tubes. Although I could try to fix that hole on that one. I may go ahead and just stick a new tube in. And that tire liner is a pain in the butt. Basically, I think you need to lay the tire down on the ground and tuck it in like so and then stick your tube in there. But, uh, kind of a pain. They're real slick, too. Kind of strange. Pretty good. I haven't had Pizza Hunt forever. Usually, if I get pizza, it's from my favorite place in town. A family owned a restaurant here in town called Tom's Pizza and Steakhouse. Best pizza in the world to me. And it don't give me heartburn. This is going to give me heartburn. Don't know why, but it does. Alright guys, good pizza. It's still nice and hot. I'm going to finish it up. I'm going to break into them wings. We'll get back to the bike. See you on a little. This is going to be a long video. See ya. Whew. Just scarfed down four pieces of pizza. Now let's take a look at the wings. Don't know how hot they're going to be. I got the hot ones, I guess. <clears throat> we'll give them a shot. We'll give them a try without some ranch. We'll just give them a shot. I hope they gave me the right amount. Because they were expensive.
Yeah, I got a little kick to him. Good stuff. <clears throat> I'm going to finish them off. We'll see y'all later. Mm. Woo. Guys, I just had to chime in here on the chicken wings. They're good. And they got some good heat to them, too. Really impressed. I'm not using the ranch because I like the flavor of it. Really, they got some pretty good heat, <coughs> which I like. I like hot. Good stuff. I'm pretty impressed with them, guys. That's a really nice, really nice heat they got. Really good. And they got a pretty good, decent amount of meat on them. One more. I think I had 12 or 14. I don't remember. Oh, big old chunk right there. Woo! Mmm. I put them up there with the best wings, probably the best I've had. I should have got me a bunch of wings. Man. <coughs> now, as far as heat goes, I could go up a lot hotter. I'm sweating, but I always sweat. I sweat eating cheeseburgers. Soups, spaghettis, chilies. I sweat easy. Plus, I got my hat on. Man. Was this a bike video? Man, heck of bikes. I got chicken in my teeth. All right, guys. Whew, I'm going to get all this cleaned up. Cleaned up, put away, get my hands clean. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Woo. We'll get back to the bike. This is going to be a long video, guys. Hope you're ready. All right. Little, little, uh, like so. Uh, I 
didn't even pay attention to how I put it on. Oh, good. I got it right. I won't even pay attention to the rotation. There we go. All right, guys. All right. So I got the tire liner in. I got a new tube on. Boy, them feel good. Some pretty looking tires and wheels right there. Not bad. Now I don't line up my stem all perfect like like a lot of people do on their tire. But hey, I got it close. Pretty close. Got to straighten her up. I got one tire down, got the other one to go. Whew. Wow, these tires look small or narrow compared to what the other ones were, but it's supposed to be about the same size uh, uh, two inch wide. So, but it's all good, they feel nice. I think that's going to roll real good again. So I'm going to get this other one done. There we go. Whew. What the world? Man, tubes are attached to the tire. some air pressure on there. <laughs> See, these are flimsy. Super flimsy. 
but again, they were only twenty dollars a piece. So there's a patch. There's a patch. I've held up pretty good. Again, make sure the tire direction is right. Trouble starting my two and my tires on. Oh, I'm gonna get it. There we go. All right. All right, let's get this wheel on there and we'll call her done. Good lord, that was a long video. Whew. Food taste test, bicycle maintenance. My battery is running out. Whew. My back's killing me. Alright, guys, we're going to call this one done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out all my other videos. I got something for everybody out there. Don't forget, guys, get up. Let me set my camera down. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. Eating and doing bike maintenance all in one. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.